starting with the next question dear students <clears throat> a limited has issued convertible bond which carries a coupon rate of 14 percentage to bond kaun sa convertible hai <clears throat> rate of interest kitna hai 14 percentage each bond is convertible into <clears throat> 20 equity shares any conversion ratio de rakha hai 20 of company A limited the prevailing interest rate for similar credit rating bond is 8 percentage any hamare jaisa hi dusra security hai jiska rate of interest 8 percentage the convertible bond has 5 years to the maturity convertible bond at se 5 saal ke baad redeem ho sakte hai it is redeemable at part that is 100 rupees achha to redemption wali bhi de diya aur face wali bhi de diya 14 percent ka 5 saal ka factor de rakha hai aur 8 percent ka 5 saal ka factor de rakha hai you are required to estimate calculations made up to 3 decimal places to mere hisab se ye bahut hi important point hai is pe galti ho gaya to marks nahi milenge uske bawajood ki aapka pura answer sahi hai पहला क्वेश्चन ये है कंप्यूट द करंट मार्केट प्राइस ऑफ द बॉन्ड यानी हमको क्या करना है फ्रेंड्स पी जीरो का कैलकुलेशन करना है अज्यूमिंग इट बीइंग इक्वल टू द फंडामेंटल वैल्यू ये देने का जरूरत नहीं है इट इज ऑलवेज अज्यूम लाइक दैट यानी उनका कहना ये है कि प्राइस क्या होगा दैट इज व्हाट यू रिक्वायर टू कंप्यूट और एक्चुअल प्राइस वही चल रहा है जो चलना चाहिए minimum market price of the equity share at which the bond holder should exercise the conversion option and duration of the bond there are three questions i want you to do answer of the first question and put your answer in the chat box so we can do answer like this Calculation of P0 and duration of bond. Do you know what you have to do? the third question is duration. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, or fifth year. Five years of time period. So year 1 to year 5. In that say we will consider the cash flow first of all. Face value as security ka 100 rupay. Rate of interest ke tarah rate of interest hai 14 percentage. And a coupon rate 14 percentage. So 100 into 14 percentage. That comes to 14 rupees, 14 rupees, 14 rupees, 14 rupees. Last year, what will happen to us? We will get redemption value plus interest. If we discount cash flows, we will get discount at the rate of 8 percentage. Because the investor will get a return at the rate of 8 percentage. Because the investor will get a return at the rate of 8 percentage. So, the discounting factor is at the rate of 8 percentage. एट परसेंट का फैक्टर हमको क्वेश्चन में दे रखा है फोर्टीन परसेंट का फैक्टर हमको कंफ्यूज करने के लिए दे रखा है सो so, इसको हम लोग क्या करेंगे इग्नोर करेंगे हम लोग सिर्फ इससे को कंसीडर करेंगे फर्स्ट ईयर का फैक्टर क्या है पॉइंट नाइन टू सिक्स सेकेंड ईयर का फैक्टर क्या है पॉइंट एट फाइव सेवन थर्ड ईयर का फैक्टर क्या है पॉइंट सेवन नाइन फोर नेक्स्ट इट इज पॉइंट सेवन थ्री फाइव Next it is 0.681. उसका फिर हम लोग present value calculate करेंगे. उसका जो सबेशर होगा ना वो होगा P0. उसके बाद हम लोग उसका proportion calculate करेंगे. फिर हम लोग क्या करेंगे? Proportion into number of years. ऐसा weighted average करके 
वे विल मेक द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द सिक्योरिटी ऐसा करके हमको कैलकुलेशन करना है सो फोर्टीन इंटू पॉइंट नाइन टू सिक्स दैट कॉल्स टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स फोर Language of the question is clear. That say you are required to do calculation up to three decimal places. Fourteen into point eight five seven. That comes to eleven point nine nine eight. Fourteen into point seven nine four. Eleven point double one six. Fourteen into point seven three five. Ten rupees twenty nine paise. One one four into point six eight one, seventy seven point six three four. So twelve point nine six four plus eleven point double nine eight plus eleven point double one six plus ten rupee twenty nine paise plus double seven point six three four. That comes to one twenty four rupees and two paise. That is the way the P zero is supposed to be found. उसके बाद हमको proportion calculate करना है. Proportion का calculation कैसे किया जाएगा, friends? बहुत ही आसान है. Twelve point nine six four divided by P zero. One twenty four point double zero two. ऐसा करके we are required to make the calculation of the P zero. So again, I request all of you to use a calculator. Twelve point nine six four divided by one twenty four point double zero two. So point one zero four five आ रहा है, और हमको तीन डेसिमल तक ही वर्किंग करना है. So I'm writing over here point one zero five, and so on. फिर आगे का प्रोपोर्शन कैलकुलेट करेंगे. Eleven point double nine eight upon one twenty four point double zero two. So zero point zero nine seven. Eleven point double one six upon one twenty four point double zero two. So zero point zero eight nine. Ten point twenty nine divided by one twenty four point double zero two. Zero point zero eight three. Seventy-seven point six three four upon one twenty-four point double zero two. So point six two six वैसे आ रहा है, पर हमको क्या करना है? Balancing figure लिखना है, friends. Point one zero five plus point zero nine seven plus point zero eight nine plus point zero eight three. जो भी total उसमें से एक को deduct करना है. That comes to point six two six. Proportion into year, so it is point one zero five, point zero nine seven into two, point one nine four, point zero eight nine into three, point two six seven, point zero eight three into four, point double three two, six two six. Into five, three point one three, one zero five, one nine four, two six seven, double three two, three point one three, so four point zero two eight years. ऐसा करके वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द ड्यूरेशन आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू राइट डाउन आंसर आई वॉन्ट समी ऑफ यू टू गिव आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स वॉट इज द मिनिमम मार्केट प्राइस ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर एट विच बॉन्ड होल्डर शुड एक्सरसाइज द कन्वर्जन ऑप्शन वॉट इज द 
dear students the question is providing the information over here each bond is convertible into 20 equity shares of company a limited yani humko kya de rakha hai humko conversion ratio de rakha hai 20 ka aisa de rakha hai so what happens that we are required to say make the calculation of the answer like this chalo i request all of you to write down answer along with me minimum market price of equity share is equal to market price of equity share divided by conversion ratio So what is the market price of the equity share? It should be at least 124.002. I'm sorry, market price of the bond. Market price of the bond. Divided by conversion ratio is what? Conversion ratio is I think 20. So the final answer would be 6.2. We understand that say, agar market price of the equity share 6.2 se upar hai, to humko bond ko debentures mein convert kar dena chahi. Agar market price of the equity share 6.2 ke niche hai, to humko bond ko market, that is say the equity shares mein convert nahi karna chahi. So this is a kind of break even market price of the bond Uske upar, we should convert, sorry, break even market price of the equity share. After that, say we should convert bond into debentures, bond into equity shares. And uh, if at all the market price of the equity share is less than this, then in that case, bond ko equity share mein convert nahi karna chahi. So we understand that say the minimum market price of the equity share should be 6.2. And when price is up, then in that case, debenture holder, ke liye, bond holder, ke liye, it would be more favorable, it would be so the advantageous for him so to convert the bond into equity share. Chalo, uh, I request all of you to write down answer along with me. Investor should Convert bond into equity share if market price of equity share is more than rupees 6.2 good stuff so pehla question aur third question humne saath mein kar diya aur second part of the question mein humko minimum market price of the equity share find karna hai uske upar agar price hai to bond ko equity share mein convert karna hai nahi to nahi